from bat number four, 113 pounds for Owen J. Roberts, Galata. My name is Derek Galata. I'm a junior. I go to Owen J. Roberts High School. I will be graduating in 2015, and I wrestled 113 last year. My style really depends on my mood. If I'm, if I have a, like a good day in school or something, like I'll go out there and I'll just be funky, to safe it up and do anything. And then if I'm in a bad mood or something, I'll just, I'll just go out there and I'm gonna rip someone's head off. It really just depends. I have different styles. If I'm wrestling a different person, um, it kind of just depends on whenever you step on the mat. Derek is very athletic. Um, he's always had a good outside shot, but when kids would attack him, he would love to just clear himself and create space, get back to his offense. And he was missing opportunities to score, whereas this year, that became one of his strongest attributes was his ability to counter attack. And so kids would attack him and he would pound with his hips and he would create scoring opportunities with his short offense, which really helped him. I think towards the end of the year, he probably had more counter attack takedowns um, than he did from space. So that's something he definitely improved on. He's, he's a kid who has made big time changes to try and become a better wrestler. What you talk about a kid who's experienced success as a youth wrestler, making changes in high school is hard to do. And his outside dump is phenomenal, it's good. But he had stopped scoring on the top kids with it. So this summer, this past summer, he worked on a single and he's been phenomenal with it. I think he scored many more points this year on a single rather than his dump, but that dump's still in his back pocket. What motivates me to work harder in, during the season and in the off season is just the urge to win. I just don't like to lose. Losing is, uh, it really gets to me and the matches that I look back at to where I had a close match, I think I could work harder and push myself to win that next match if I wrestle that kid again. The big reason I know he would be successful is that he's a winner. I don't know if I've ever had an athlete find more ways to win than Derek. I can't count how many matches that maybe something wasn't working for him and he will create scrambles and create positions and come up with points um, to enable himself to win. Pac-10 championships were a great example. He got taken down three times. It was different because I've never got taken down that many times in a match. I, I wasn't in the match, I didn't think, but the scoreboard said I was. I knew that I would have to do something to win this match. His shot was not on, and with about 20 seconds to go, you know, he had kind of a misdirection duck and took uh, Hayes to his back, and, you know, Derek came off like, I didn't have my shot tonight, I didn't have my shot. And I said, it's not often that you know, you could not have your shot, uh, get taken down three times and win by four points against a state medalist. And Derek has that ability. You can never count yourself out. Um, when you're in a match and you're not wrestling your best, it, it doesn't matter if you're really behind. If there's time on the clock, there's always time for you to win. So um, I felt like just always believing that I'm in the match or have a chance to win just keeps pushing you and maybe something will open up. I watched him hit moves that he almost invents, but he, he's a winner and he creates ways to win. And that doesn't just go away. You know, kids like that, they find success. And, you know, Derek's a winner. He's gonna find success at the next level. He, he'll find ways to win in college. Going to the state tournament, there was a lot of hype about me, like talking about going to the finals and um, I mean, I just try to stay calm and just kind of not really like worry about my expectations, but worry about my wrestling. And if I wrestle good, then that's just going to take me. The last two years of States, um, you took eighth place and, and eighth place. Freshman year um, to place in States was pretty incredible at that weight class. You know, for seventh and eighth place, he was wrestling a kid who was going for his third medal. And then last year, it arguably was the toughest weight class in the country. 
from when you look at the depth of kids. So for his, him to come back his sophomore year can medal, that was pretty neat at that weight class. You know, just to get there, he would be the returning state medalist. And then this year making the semis and being one point from the finals. In the semis match, it was right there. It was that close, it was one point away. Um, one takedown, we could have made that difference. In the third period, there was like 15 seconds left and I hooked his ankle when I was in a front headlock and I had it for a second, he slipped out and I almost stepped over again, but it was close. I knew I had to bounce back. Um, I mean, it was the past two years I've been on that eighth place stand. I just, I had to win. Think what made him successful, what, what got him from that eighth place to fourth place was his willingness to become to step up and become a leader this year. As an older man on the team and one of the most successful, I think he, he kind of thrived in that leadership role. By forcing himself into that leadership role and, and kind of walking the walk, not just talking the talk, I think that's what helped him be so successful in the postseason. Uh, and I think he brought that approach with, with him mentally every day, whether we were in the weight room, um, in the preseason, wrestling season or whatever, every time he was, he, he was on the mats, he was there for a purpose. And I think um, doing that and, and trying to be a leader on our team helped him in the long run. And I think that's, aside from just the success at the end of the year, I think that's something to be just as proud of, is how he's developed as a young man and a leader this year for our team.